Now, this actually has bro been broken down into grades, and this is how I think about it. Uh, so Dr. Kelly, who's down in Los Angeles, published this in 500 patients. A grade zero meant there was no leak, and that was confirmed by a Valsalva maneuver at the time of surgery. Grade one was a small leak, grade two, moderate, and grade three is a large CSF leak. When I think about this, I think of grade zero, grade one, and grade two leaks for direct approaches for tumors of the cella, so things like adenomas or Rathke's cleft cyst. And for those tumors or pathology that extend beyond the cella, so things like craniopharyngioma, which we just saw a video of, or tuberculum cella meningioma, those that will be above the diaphragm and in the CSF space. So those folks will have a grade three leak. And in this series, again, you can see that that is how the, the statistics broke down. So adenomas and RCCs typically had grade zero or grade one leaks because they did not extend into the CSF spaces. So a high flow leak, a grade three leak was exceptionally rare for those pathologies. Now compare that to meningioma or craniopharyngioma or an arachnoid cyst. Those patients had predominantly grade three leaks because they're in the CSF spaces. And so when you think about that, you need a strategy of increasing, um, I guess, aggressive nature of repair. So for a grade zero, that is absence of CSF leak, personally, and I learned this from my residency and fellowship, I'll um, obliterate the cella with gel foam and then just do a simple surge of cell repair. Um, I do not place bone uh, as a buttress over the face of the cella. Um, however, with increasing grades of leak, you can increase how aggressive you are with your repair. So you can do fat or fascia grafts. You can do CSF diversion with a lumbar drain or EVD. And then finally, with a high flow leak, you can use a pedicled nasoceptal flap either on your own or with the assistance of your ENT colleagues. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.